everybody. My name is Steve Ford, and welcome to another American pronunciation lesson. I had so many comments from my previous videos, my pronunciation videos, from my Spanish-speaking YouTube subscribers to do a video to help you with your pronunciation. So I've got some tips for you. So let's go. So one common thing for a lot of Spanish speakers is the H sound. Now, when you have this word, often Spanish speakers will kind of do an additional sound with the back of their tongue in the upper palate. Che, 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 chev, chev. And I'm sure that there are different intensities of that che. You want to bring your tongue, the back of your tongue down. I know it's going to be hard. Maybe you're going to have to try and push it down, but I'm sure that you can do it. Ha, ha, have. Another one which is quite common for Spanish speakers is to pronounce vowel sounds in English more softly than you would in English. So you want to hold on to those vowel sounds more. And I'll give you an example. We say dog. This is a dog. Dog. But quite often Spanish speakers will say dog. 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 So not only are you not saying the ah sound, but you're even taking the o oh sound and shortening it by just saying dog. Dog. Can you hear the difference? Dog. We don't pronounce the G, that's fine, but you want to stretch that vowel sound out. Dog. I have had many problems with Helen's dog. I have had many problems with Helen's dog. Another one is the Y sound like in you, we don't say ju. So when you say ju, ju, the tip of your tongue is coming forward. It's, it's touching the, the top palate. Ju, ju. You don't want to do that. You want to keep your tongue relaxed. Ya, ya. And the back is touching the back of the palate. Ya, ya, you. Can you hear the difference? Ju, you. So you can hear the difference, but try to see if you can catch yourself in the middle of when you're speaking. You don't know your password? You don't know your password? You don't know your password? Last one is the V versus B. So we have very and we have berry. Now, this isn't a problem for all Spanish speakers, but some may have this problem. So, let's practice this one. The berries are very beautiful. The berries are very beautiful. Okay, everybody, all of my Spanish-speaking YouTube fans, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, you can leave them in the comment section below this video. If you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can do that here. And if you want to contact me, you can do that at the link below this video. We'll see you in our next lesson. Bye for now.